Hello guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are excited to show you internal condition and assembly process of axial piston hydraulic pump made by JSW Japan Heavy Steel. We have already dismantled the hydraulic pump so as you can see there are 7 pistons which are attached in rotor. In simple words if pistons are driven by hydraulic oil pressure then it is called hydraulic motor and if they are driven by electric motor they are working as a hydraulic pump. Here it is a hydraulic pump so this is what looks like back connection cover in this model. This is called pressure plate or valve plate which sucks oil from one port and delivers to another port. The two holes which you can see are the delivery lines where the pressurized fluid will go. Keeping aside the spacers, the delivery line has two bushes and springs under them. The spring force helps create a force to the pressure plate which doesn't let the oil slip under pressure. And this is the back side of pressure plate where lower part is used as suction and upper part is used as delivery. The center piece balances and guides rotor for steady placement while in motion. This is the pressure port. After placing the spacers bush and springs are installed. We have to make sure they are working and not stuck in their position. Centerpiece is installed by the direction of small guide pin. Pressure plate is placed later after ensuring the alignment of all the parts. Meanwhile other half of body is placed and bolts are tightened. The pressure plate was slipping so we first installed it on rotor and then installed the cover. Somehow we forgot to take a video of it but here you can refer to the photo of hydraulic motor to get a better idea. Thanks for watching and stay tuned until next video.